Welcome to the Shaman Mix Show. I want to thank you for your encouragement and your emails. And we, we would certainly appreciate any uh, questions or comments you may have in the future, including this show. Please contact, contact us at shamanmick, M-I-C, cmybeach.com. We're looking forward to hearing from you because we're basing our shows on the questions that you seem to have. And uh, one of the questions we had from the first show we did was, how old am I? And I get that quite frequently. And I'm here to declare I was just turned 64 a few weeks ago. And people want to know, well, you're in pretty good shape for that age. I don't think age has anything to do with being in shape. It's relatively uh, emotional, spiritual, mental, and physical aspects combined together. And saying that is seeing as say people want to know, first of all, well, how much do you work out? And I work out between five and six hours a day, six days a week. And that's not feasible for most people, and it doesn't need to be, to be in good shape and good condition and healthy. But what I do suggest is about diet. And people ask a lot about, well, what do you do? What do you eat? And it's not so much about what you eat, it's about what's eating you. That is the emotional body, and that's what it pertains to. That's why so many people go on diets, lose weight, and then a couple of months later gain it back because they're not dealing with the emotional body. And that has the biggest impact on weight. So I said, like I said, it's not about what you're eating, it's about what's eating you emotionally. That being said, uh, like I said, I work out about six hours a day, five to six hours a day, given or take a few. And what helps me maintain a, a overall balance in my body, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, is I have a very good friend of about 10 years now of, named Patty Starr, who is an aromatherapist and uh, a massage therapist. And she combines a lot of different modalities to enhance the whole being, not just the physical, muscular body. And I would like to introduce Patty Starr at this point to get, let her give you her viewpoint on what, what it's all about. Welcome, Patty, to the Shaman Mick Show. Hi, Mick. Nice to be here. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. I usually okay. say that Mick's really 120, or really you're ageless, right? Um, and it's because you do, uh, you, you really do work at being balanced in your life. And, and every once in a while, we'll get together and... and um, and I will incorporate a lot of what I do, which is energetic work. I work energetically with the nervous system. I work with the muscular structure, so if there's stuff that gets caught, what have you. But we, those are just the gateways, aren't they? Certainly. Because when we actually start working, we find what the emotional issue is. Because the emotional issue is really that which is at the base. Uh. Right. All the time. <laughs> so, so it's the bottom line. So in using um, the energetic work, and I'm a Reiki master, as you are as well, um, energetic therapy, I also do cranial work to, to actually key into the nervous system. And I can actually see what's going on there. And then right away the oils will start coming to me. I've been working with the oils for 20 years now. And they, they actually speak to me and they actually work energetically to help balance, balance the, the body. Oftentimes we will have traumatic issues that come up, and we, you know, we handle it, right? Right. We just handle it. Yeah. And what does that mean? We're kind of in denial about it, right? Exactly. We, oh, I, I've got it all together. You know, I know intellectually we know, mm -hmm. but then emotionally the, it's running in the body. And we just had an experience recently where you had a loss in your family, and I went, "Okay, Mick, we got to get get going on the table, and yes. then come on in and let's let's get to work." And so, we did. So should we sh show a little bit about how we do that? I would love to. Okay. So we've got you on the table, Mick. Thank you for demonstrating. My and, pleasure. And what we what we do right away is we just kind of start to feel. Now energy runs. We can feel where it's blocked, we can feel what's going on. We start just by balancing the energetics of the person. We start just seeing where the energy is running. And we can just kind of listen. And here's the whole point, is that we, we all can know what's going on, mostly if we're listening internally. So when Mick is on the table, I'll get a sense of exactly what's going on with his nervous system, with his emotions, and with his just his spiritual energy. We'll feel what's going on in the neck. You can see I've got my hands under the neck here. 
We'll feel what's going on under the head. And we, we tune into the whole nervous system of the body where we can tell exactly, oh, okay, on your left side this is going on, on your right side this is going on. And all of that has a role in how a person is doing health-wise. Nick, do you want to say something more about that while you're here? Well, I, certainly, it's, it, most people think you go to a therapist and they do the work. No, it's a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you you tell me what I'm, what's going on with the physical, and I can feel the emotions that she's relating to, and then I can adjust to what I feel I need to release and let go or connect with, and which I can is say, very helpful. It's I a collaboration. Say, okay, I feel something's going on on the left side right now and he'll connect with what's going on there. Usually the left side is the feminine side, the right side is the, is the masculine side, known in Chinese in this way. The other thing that we do is that we, we actually can see when a person, or a lot of people are going through a lot of stressful situations right now, we'll do a little cranial work, and we'll just actually um, work with the cerebral spinal fluid, and we'll actually just cause that to decompress. A lot of people have a lot of pressure in their heads, so we'll actually use that to decompress and the person becomes back into balance. Sometimes I have people who have actually lopsided heads where one side is bigger than the other, and we'll actually change that in the head itself, which will help to bring balance and calm and, and less stress in the whole body. And we ask, and we work a lot with the breath. Breath is really important, isn't it, Mick? The most important thing we do to sustain life on this planet, food you could go without for a month, water, probably seven or eight days, air, minutes. That's how important breathing is, minutes. And, and along with the breath, we actually work very effectively with the essential oils. So for example, if somebody's coming in and they're very stressed, I will use, uh, I will use the essential oils, which I'll depending on what's going on with a person, I will use what's needed. I have about 90 different oils here that I have at any one time and I'll put it on the pressure points in the body to help to bring in that rest and relaxation because firstly if they're not in their body they're not going to receive anything that will help them to really relax. Another thing that I have found is that oftentimes in the busy lives that people have they aren't Grounded. Now, what I mean by ground, you want to say a little bit about grounding? Because I could say it, but you go ahead. Right about... no, okay. Go ahead. Yep, People, go. When, because they've got so much going on in their lives, they may just be flighty. They can't handle their o in, in overwhelm. So I'll come down to their feet. So I will take a certain oil that is known to be very grounding, and I'll actually apply it to the feet which will help energetically to bring their attention to the feet and be able to start to be in their bodies, which is very important. Because if people aren't in their bodies, they won't have a clue as to what's needed in the body. Mick, do you want to say some more about that? I certainly would like to about grounding, because most people are, I don't think, are hearing what you're saying in the sense that, what do you mean in your body and mm -hmm. being grounded? Mm -hmm. Well, we're not like trees. Trees are grounded. They're rooted into the earth. We're on the Earth, and the Earth is rotating at about a little more than a thousand miles an hour. So we are incons in inconsistent in being on the planet, and we're aware that if it sped up any faster, we'd fall off. So we're not grounded. So the lower you get your center of gravity down to the Earth, the more grounded you are, the more connected you are, and the more in your body you are, which is what you're referring to about being grounded. Yeah, so that's really great um, to really talk about grounding. Another method that we do is we rub our hands together with the essential oils and we take in the breath fully. And as we take in the breath, those essential oils go through the body and begin to balance the body energetically as well. And that really works in conjunction with a lot of the work that you do right on the beach, isn't it, Mick? Yes, it yeah. certainly does. Great. And grounding and being connected with the elements, very great. much so. Great. Incorporating all of nature. And nature, and that's what the essential oils are. They come from the plants. They are harmonious with our body. They are harmonious with our whole being. And as we connect with the essential oils, we are connecting with the plants so that they can actually help us with our emotional, with our mental, with our, our spiritual aspects because they bring in the elements of the earth. 
They bring in the elements of the air as we breathe them in. And often you do this in your treatments as well, Mick. You bring in those elements of different blends that we brought together so that those those aspects of ourselves can be balanced. They energetically infuse us with their energy, which is a great gift that, the, that nature brings. And a lot of your work is connected to nature. That's part of what Certainly. brings balance to your whole body. So why don't we take a um, moment here. You can get up and, and get dressed again, and we can just finish off the show. How's that sound? Excellent. Well, uh, it was quite an experience, although it was short, it was just a demonstration, but Patty has worked on me numerous times over the years, and even in that brief thing, especially with the aromatherapy, I breathe it in, and it does magic. I feel a whole different environment around me now, and feel it, the alignment coming in from my, my brain and being scattered on trying to get here today. I want to thank Patty Star for being a guest on the show, and Patty, why don't you tell us how people can get in touch with you so you can share your gifts with them. Oh, great. Thanks. Well, I, I am uh, in a new location now, located uh, on Ringling Boulevard in Tuttle in Sarasota. And you can uh, actually find me at the Gabriel Center, my new location, which is in the Gold Tree Plaza here. Um, I actually teach aromatherapy classes, so you're welcome to, um, you can friend me at Essential Ease Garden Apothecary on Facebook, as well as um, my... Um, Website? Web, website, right, is EssentialEase.com. And um, you can also find my, my massage work, the body work that I do, which is rehabilitation for acute and chronic pain as well, on um, PattyAStar.MassageTherapy.com. So those are the places you can find me. And it's been really great to be here and to work with you. And, and um, you know, I think that you and I both feel that um, the the future for this planet is that we all come into balance with nature, that we all come into balance with our emotions, our mind, and our spirit in the body that will work for us to be healthy and abundant in our in our experience of life. Very much so. Very well put, Patty. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Okay. And I want to thank you all for being a part of the show and continue to email us and let us know what you if you have any questions or any comments. We certainly appreciate it. And we're in gratitude for you staying tuning to the show. Uh, and like I said, you can reach uh, reach us at Shaman Mick Show, cmybeach.com. Bless you, thank you, and we'll see you next week. I'd like to close with a little correction on contacting us at Shaman Mick at cmybeach.com. Any questions? We'll be glad and more happy to connect you with it. I'd also like to thank SeeMyBeach.com because this is such a collaboration and it's such an integration of the work like Patty does, talking about connecting with nature and putting it all together because we're all, we're all one. And I'm so happy to see that SeeMyBeach.com is really interested in the environment and, and people and really connecting them. So it's great to be on the show today. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you all, and we'll see you next week. Bless you, and have a great week.